Paul Jr. of the Mass Sierra Club. He's the vice chairman and chair of the Sierra Club's Energy Committee here in Massachusetts. And I remind folks, as I did earlier, that this is our opportunity to see the big picture and how all of this is connected and why if we make the choices for a future that's good for all of us, that's the only way it's going to happen. Here he is. Thank you for the opportunity to be here today. I want to talk to you about natural gas, or methane as a source of energy. But first, as Gracie said, that's just one necessary focus of many. We've heard about CO2, the tax on carbon. There are many focuses that people can have. I'm just going to talk about one that's very important. First, have a thank you, then information, and then have an ask of each one of you. The thank you goes to the Massachusetts Senate for passing a gas leak safety bill this week. Thanks go to Senators Eldridge, Downey, and Pacheco, Representative Lori Ehrlich, who started the campaign several, several years ago, and many people in this room. Unsafe gas pipes may become history in this state. So when you think about that, thank your senators who passed that bill yet uh, this week. But that's a safety gas leak bill. I want to have a greenhouse gas leak bill. We need to plug those leaks to save our atmosphere too, and we need to do it now. Methane, in addition to being an explosive, is a fossil fuel that produces carbon dioxide, or CO2, when burned. But again, that's just part of the story. Methane is called a CO2 equivalent. Well, equivalent is an understatement. It is 22 to 80 times more powerful a greenhouse gas than carbon dioxide. So it's not an equivalent. The 21,000 leaks in Massachusetts are about 45% of the volume of natural gas we have in the state. But let's go out of the state. From gas wellhead to combustion chamber, your home furnace, the leakage runs from 20% and higher. You and your local businesses pay for those leaks. And we shouldn't be paying for those leaks. The gas company should. Gas has other adverse economic effects in Massachusetts. Our gas prices here have gone to $2, to $4, to $6 in four to five years. It's volatile. Natural gas is projected to be 65% of our state's energy economy in a few years. At a $4 average price per MBTU, and MBTU is what the unit of gas sells for, an increase in $1 alone increases the cost of 65% of our energy by 25%. That's your home energy bill. That's the energy that you use to run your business. What does this have to do with wasted tax money? Well, our tax dollars subsidize tax credits and allowances for industry that uses our air as a dump. We pay our own dump fees at the landfill, but we also pay, in effect, the air dump fees for the gas energy to put that gas in the air because the price we pay reflects the lead gas. Looked at another way, if we could get these companies to focus on, on fixing their leaks here, that means local jobs here. And instead of investing in pipelines, we should be putting that money to work in a clean and renewable energy con uh, economy here. There's another footnote that's important. We're about to export LNG, liquid not by natural gas. The gas market internationally is $14 in Europe and $20 in Japan. Do you think our $6 bid price is going to go ahead and get that gas to come to Massachusetts? We'll have to bid $10, $11 for that to get it here. Now let me catch my ass. Why do we increase our state's dependence on natural gas when a dollar increase will increase our cost of energy by 25%? Ask this to your congressman. Why are we exporting Massachusetts dollars to fall across the fuels when we could put them to work here to build a Massachusetts leadership in renewable and clean energy? That's where our money should go. And why are we impairing our ability to meet our greenhouse gas goals by spending more on natural gas? I see the light at the end of the tunnel. I want you to see it too. It's not a gas light. It's a clean and renewable energy light. Let's make sure Massachusetts leads us out of that tunnel. We have a good start. And if all you join together, we'll get to the end of that tunnel pretty soon. Thank you.